Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Mumble Elite. We have another 75 plus player pick, so you know I have to make a video on how you guys can grind these, whether you want to make coins, whether you want to make these as quickly as possible, uh, whether one method you're doing is not working anymore and you need something new. We're going to walk through a couple different ways you can do this. So if you do enjoy, feel free to smack the like button, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below what is the best thing you pull out of these. Let me know. I'm going to do a bunch of these on stream. Probably will be the main focus for the next couple days. It says it's here for three days. Is that three days, 24 hours? I mean, 23 hours or just three days? Okay, so I don't know exactly when it's going to go away. Um, sometimes they add on the extra time at the end. But anyways, you need three rares, all golds. So three rares, two gold commons you can go with in 20 chem. Um, all defenders and a CDM going to be pretty easy to get chem you don't necessarily need the right position the number one way people typically pick these up on the market if you're thinking in the mind of someone wanting to get these done is essentially trying to pick up gold commons um, so if we go to gold commons right now you're going to see a wide array of prices if we go to 450 you're going to see that everything sells within the hour for 450 it's slowly probably going to move up to 500 um, right now it might take most of the hour to sell but as people keep doing these and as these are packed less and less um, you're going to see the price slowly go up especially for league sbc players so if you're wanting to pick these up what i would recommend we had it up before um, was the liga portugal this is something that has some gold cards and it doesn't have a league sbc currently so they don't really have as much value these are things you can pick up easier it's gonna be harder to get outbid. So what I'd recommend is going max price 350. If it's a 450 by now, and I would just mass bid 350 on these if you can. Um, flip them for 450, 500 coins, and essentially you can make yourself some profit while you're also making these packs. Now I'm not gonna do the math in this video because I'm super bad at math, but you can calculate if you're selling these for like let's say 500 coins, you might be making 150 per card. Calculate how much profit you need to make in order to pay for a pack do it until you have enough coins to pay for the pack you're essentially doing the pack for free at that point then you're going to get a bunch of fodder from the pack you open up and remember every time you do a player pick you're getting a rare back if it's a good rare sweet if it's a bad rare it's one less rare you need the next run through so you would only need to buy one gold rare instead of three or you'd have to buy two i mean instead of three dude i don't know what my mind is doing today it's being crazy anyways so yeah it takes away the cost of one rare gold, which if we look in the market right now, I believe rare golds are 650. Yeah, 650 instantly or within 10 seconds. And then if we go to 700 coins by now, you'll see that some stuff sells, but a lot of stuff doesn't. So if you are trying to pick these up for 600, you might see some competition. Right now, it doesn't look like there is much, but if there happens to be competition or you need a good way to pick up chem while you're doing this, here is a little pro tip. I kind of cover this every single video. Um, <laughs> the Libertadores, we go 600 minimum price, 650 max price. If you are on web app or companion app, you can actually select the quality for gold along with the league Libertadores. And essentially you hit search and it should hopefully show you cards that are gold. Uh, now for it to be gold, it has to be 75 rated or above. These count as gold rares for SBCs. So if you wanted to bid 650 on 76 and above cards you could but i would look to see if you can bid 600 coins on the 75 rateds it's gonna be a super cheap way to get the rares if they do go up in price but also you can get a lot of good chem since they're all the same league a lot of them share similar nationalities whether it's argentina um, some of them share the uruguay so feel free to pick those cards up too but remember 75 rated and above that is a big must so those would be kind of the two things i would look for in terms of picking up cards again i would do the trading tip with the gold commons since they're easier to flip the gold rares you can't really trade with that much so i would just kind of not mass bid on them just buy what you need and again if you pack one 75 plus and you get like let's say a 76 rated card throw it back into the 75 plus you only need two rares instead of three this time now, if you are sick of doing that, or you can't win bids for some reason, you're looking for a new way to get these cards, we have a wonderful way of doing this. So I've been saving these packs for this occasion. Um, they're gold player packs. This can be found in the Libertadores SBC. So I'll kind of walk you through that real quick. But as you open these, not only do you get a rare, you get 11 common golds, which you can put into the player picks. If you want to make um, two rare gold upgrade packs in the upgrade section you could do these get the rest of the gold fodder 
also with a chance to pack something good um, in this promo. You could do that. We have the Libertadores League SBC, which gives you a rare mixed players pack at the end. I will link how you grind the Libertadores League SBC in this video. I will put it at the top of the description. This is a SBC we do at least three to five times a day. My favorite by far. Gives you a bunch of fodder in these packs. You get a gold players pack right here. Jumbo gold pack here, tradable, so you can sell on this stuff for profit. Then the Electrum players pack, untradable. This is going to give you a bunch of gold commons. And then a bunch of silver commons as well that you can use in other League SBCs. And we have a jumbo silver pack here that's tradable that you can sell for profit as well. So a bunch of different ways to make coins and fodder with these packs. And again, you could pack something along the way as well um, while you're working towards that player pick. So that would be my recommendation. I would say do Libertadores if you're looking for a way to potentially pack one of the uh, winter cards. That's a really good way of trying to get winter wild cards while opening packs, working towards those player picks. So let's see how good these actually are. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it too. What we do with the other fodder as well, you can use that to build the other league SBCs. So if you get a bunch of like, let's say, um, Prem, Golds, Untradable, Common and Rare, feel free to put those into the Prem SBC and work towards that 50k pack. You can do that with your fodder also. It doesn't necessarily need to go towards the um, go towards the 75 plus player pick if you don't want to. So I'm going to look first for things that aren't in League SBCs. That way we can still do all our League SBCs. So we're going to do the League of Portugal cards. That should give us a decent amount of chem. Um, and again, you don't necessarily need this either. It's only 20 chem, so anything we put in really should get the job done. And then for the two commons, we're going to use untradables again. We're going to go gold common, untradable. We're going to look for off leagues once again. So we got a Greece one here. What else do we have? We have a Switzerland one. So we're going to select those two, put them in. That should get us the chem needed. Boom. And you get an option this time of three cards. I don't know if the last one was two um, for the 75 plus player picks or if it was three, but um, three is a good amount. I don't know how good these are actually going to be, though. I typically don't have the best luck with player picks. Yeah. All right. So something to keep in mind here, too. We have two that are already owned. My club is almost completely first owner. Right now, untradable cards for gold commons and gold rares, just because we've done a good job of doing league SBCs, selling the tradable stuff. So I technically wouldn't probably want to take this. I would take the ones that aren't already owned. Um, but if you guys wanted to work towards a certain league SBC, like let's say you have one Prem team left and it's the highest rated one and an 82 helps you achieve it. I think it's a, what, 77 or 78 rating you need for that. Or if you want to throw one of them in marquee matchups, feel free to do that. But I'm going to take the Air Divis card. We can throw that one into the Air Divis League SBC um, or honestly one of these daily SBCs probably and get ourselves some more packs. Yeah. Make sure you take care of these winter wild card challenges, dudes. You get the token that comes with it, and you also get some packs as well. So we'll be doing that later off stream and off video, um, and we'll open them up for your viewing pleasure later. But yeah, that is it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. Uh, we make this kind of video every time Repeatable SBCs comes out. So if you're new to the channel, you probably know you probably don't know these yet. Um, but if you aren't new to the channel, this is probably a format of video you've seen before. We're going to keep making these though, and I'll let you know if any of the things change. Um, the common thing that typically changes with these type of videos is price points. Just because some consoles, it's harder to pick things up on bid, so you might have to bid more, which people think, oh, just because you bid more, you're going to make less profit potentially on the cards. No, typically if you have to bid more, sometimes the buy now price also increases. So make sure you guys are paying attention to those things. Um, but the second thing was, if you are having trouble with League SBCs, Again, we have a bunch of videos on our channel on how to grind League SBCs, how we go from the Libertadores into everything else. Um, on top of that, we got a bunch of streams where we're going off the going over this stuff live. So if you ever need to ask me a question live, that might be better than just a YouTube comment. But yeah, let me know. Thank you for watching. It's been your boy Mobile. I'm out. God bless.